Hey everybody, welcome to another video tutorial from Zanata Consulting. I'm Landon McCluskey and today I'm going to be showing you a couple of super quick and easy ways to add the same field or many fields across multiple modules within Zoho CRM. If you like today's video, feel free, like it, or maybe even subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Ask questions at club.zanata.com. You might even be featured on our bi-weekly YouTube show, Azaz. That's Ask Zanata Anything About Zoho. I highly recommend it. Very informative. Also, I'm on there quite a bit. Without any further ado, here's the dip. When you are creating fields within a module and you want a field to be added to multiple modules. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for fields that have already been created, but for new ones that you add, click edit properties. Down here at the bottom, it's going to say also create four. Here you get to select which modules you want to add it to. If in your module you have multiple layouts, you can select which ones. It will create that field when you click save in those modules. I think it usually puts it as the bottom line in the first section, either that, or if you can't find it, always look at unused items when you're on those layouts. Just a reminder. The other way is not, it's not too bad. Let's say I am myself because I always do this. If I've created a bunch of fields and I need to copy them over to a different module for any reason, you can just go to reports. Once you're in reports, go ahead, click on create report, select whichever module you want those fields to be coming from. So, in my case, leads. Click on continue, click continue one more time. And now, no matter the data here, really doesn't matter. We're not actually going to be importing any records. So find your columns, right? Find the fields that you want, add them here. Let's just say I want to add all of these fields, right? So whichever ones you need added to the different module, I'm just clicking random ones. I really don't have anything specific. Click on done to the top, right? Click the drop down arrow and export. I typically do detailed report and CSV takes up the least amount of space. You could really do any of these, but this is my preference export. And now you're going to go ahead and save the file. You now go to whichever module you want to import those fields to, or you want to add it to, right? Again, we're not actually going to be importing any data. We're just going to add the fields. But up here in the top right where it says create account, click the arrow, click on import accounts. We're going to find that file, open it up, click on next. Here, this doesn't really matter because we are not actually importing any data. Here's all the fields, that's great. Don't worry about these. When you wanna add the new ones, up in the top right, click on create new fields. Here you have the ability to add all these fields, any of them that weren't there. For me, uh, let's just say that I need average time, I need dates visited, first visit, Formula One, and uh, uh, first page visited. The second column is what that field is going to be named in the new module. So let's just say I want this one. Instead of average time spent minutes, I just want to be called ATS. Your Formula One is just going to be, you know, race, right? <laughs> Formula One. Pun time. Okay. And then select the type. So this one text field, it was automatically selected. That's great. First visit. Let's just say that's going to be a date field. Uh, first page visited. We'll say it's text and days visited text average time spent in minutes. We'll just say text. Great. Now here's where it gets really technical. You have to be kind of tech savvy. Look down here in the bottom right on create. Dunsies, you're done. That's it. You're literally done. You don't have to go any further. You don't have to import. If you go to the accounts module now, click on any file or any uh, record, those fields are going to be here. First visit, days visited, ATS, first page visited. You're done. That's it. You nailed it. Great job. I don't have anything else for you. Here's my outro. So there you have it. A couple of quick ways that you can add the same field or multiple fields across multiple modules within Zoho CRM. If you're thinking of it, as you're creating the fields, go ahead and select 
under edit properties, which modules you also want to add that field to as you create it. Or if you're like me and 100% of the time forget that, or you have a lot you want to do at the same time, go ahead, create an export, select all the fields you want and put them under those columns. Click to export, go to import into the module that you want to add those fields to under create new fields, choose what you want them to be called and choose the field type, put them in there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like the video if you feel like it. If you don't, I mean, do it anyway. That'd be great. And feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and head over to club.zanana.com. Ask some questions. Maybe get featured on our bi-weekly Azaz Ask Zanana About Anything show. From Zanana Consulting, I'm Landon McCluskey. Have a good one.